Welcome to the last section of this video. We will continue to code the KMS operations using Java. Now we are in the IntelliJ IDE. We are going to see the implementation quickly. So first, the application property is going to have a few parameters that we will need. Access key of the IAM user, secret key, and the um, KMS ARN, KMS key ID. Key ID is nothing but the last uh, part from the key ARN, okay? So I uh, just the logging level uh, to info just to see if we were logs for our easy understanding. So let's go into AWS config. This is the configuration file I have kept to create the beam. Okay, so for creating the KMS client beam, uh, here uh, you can see the beam named uh, KMS client and it is creating the KMS client uh, with the user ID and um, secret key. It's using the uh, basic credential builder and it's using the KMS client builder with the provider AWS credentials specifying the region. It will um, give us the KMS client. So just returning the instance to the KMS client for this um, AWS account. And uh, the proper, from the properties file, the values are fetched um, this way using add value annotation. So you can see the values are um, looped here from the properties file. So this is the config simple. Uh, we have only one bin, KMS client. Let's go and see the KMS operation, which has the uh, functions like encrypt, decrypt, encrypt using data key, decrypt using data key implemented. So here this encrypt option is going to use the uh, customer master key to encrypt a client text and decrypt is going to use the same customer master key uh, to decrypt the uh, cipher text which is the output from this encrypt and uh, i have auto wired the kms client here and the config i have auto wired here because i need to fetch the key and the arn so i needed this um, instance as well and encrypt using data key this will do the uh, it will do fetch the data key from AWS KMS API and it uses the data key plain text data key to encrypt the JSON string which is more than 4 KB this JSON string is going to be less than 4 KB if it's if it is more than 4 KB then it's it will fail because it's going to use the master key and another function decrypt using data key. This is going to do the decryption of the cyber text block, which is uh, generated by this function. So I'm calling all these uh, methods from the application using the command line runner. So this project is a Maven project generated uh, using the spring initializer. So, so I have implemented command line runner. I have a run method, which has two JSON payloads. These are the payloads will be encrypted and decrypted in, by, by this application. I have two. One is JSON data below 4K and above 4K to implement. And I'm and I'm calling the describe specific key, describe key uh, method uh, to see the metadata of the key. And I'm just displaying there uh, the length of the JSON payload. This to check whether it is under 4K or uh, above 4K. Just I'm displaying their length here. And this one, this call to encrypt method using the uh, above 4K payload will fail because um, the KMS encrypt and decrypt APIs will accept only the data uh, up to 4K. So this will fail. We'll just see the outcome of this call, API call. And I'm calling the encrypt and decrypt, and encrypt using data key, decrypt using data key, just um, the sequence of operations. We will quickly see the uh, implementation. So we are creating an encrypt request. These um, object and instances are part of uh, Java to SDK from AWS. So we are preparing an encrypt request. We are using the key ARN, and we are um, mentioning the plain text is going to be JSON string, which is the payload. And uh, we are getting the encrypt request. And we are using the KMS client and calling the encrypt API 
with the encrypt request. That's it. It will return the ciphertext blob. Uh, so it will return the encrypt response. From the response, we can fetch, fetch the ciphertext blob and return. So here we are getting the uh, key, key error. But if you see in the decrypt function, we, we don't have to specify the key error. So for encrypt, we are um, passing the key ARN to get the encrypt request. But for decrypt request, we don't have to give the key ARN uh, because the ciphertext blob itself will have the metadata with the key ARN. So we don't have to specify that, that here. So that will be internally used to decrypt. So the decrypt request will be using the encrypted JSON string and uh, the plain text will be written, which is the decrypt, decrypted format of the payload. Okay, so all these uh, communication, payload communication is happening uh, as objects of SDK bytes. This function is an encrypt uh, function using the data key. So here, this JSON payload is going to be above 4 KB. So we cannot call the encrypt and decrypt uh, APIs from KMS. So we are going to use data keys. So generate data key is the function we need to uh, call from the KMS. So we need to create a generate data key request using the builder. So we are passing the key ERN on the encryption standard so that it returns the right data key for us to use with the AES standard. So we will have the response and we are creating the Zypher configuration for proceeding with the encryption. So that is, we are going to use the AES standard. So we have the Zypher instance, so we can call this API to proceed with the encryption. So it gives us the encoder secret in, as a byte array. I'm writing that into a file named encodedcontent.json. Once we execute, we will see the content in the JSON file. So we have received um, the generated data key response. From that generated data key response, here we are calling here we are calling the plain text to proceed with the encryption, and we will be discarding the plain text later. And we are just storing the uh, cyber text blob, will, which is the encrypted data key, into this file, which will be used during the decryption of the encoded content, encoded payload. Okay. So this is the decrypt. So we are going to use this cybertext blob, which is the encrypted data key. So first we have to decrypt the data key using um, the KMS decrypt API. So we are creating the decrypt request here and we are calling the decrypt API to decrypt the uh, encrypted data key. So that one, and we are reading the encrypted data key from this file as SDK bytes, and we are passing that for decryption API. And then using the decrypted plain text, we can uh, prepare the Zypher to proceed with the decrypt operation. So, so it reads the encoded content from this file and prepares the Zypher in instance initializes the decrypt mode and you can see we are calling the do final api and it does the decryption and it returns us the utf8 format string so which will be our um, decoded uh, payload which will be which is which is the json okay so the sequence of operations are given here as comment one by one, it will be easier for you to go through. You can get this from the Git repository. And so describe key, it's another function just to dem demonstrate um, for getting the metadata about the KMS key. So here we are getting the uh, description which we gave, which we gave during the creation of the dead key, customer master key, and we are getting the AWS account ID and we are reading the ARN from the key ID. Okay. That's it. And these are 
to um, helper functions read from file and write into file. And that's it. Uh, so let's execute and see how it uh, runs. So I'm going to pass uh, the data above 4K to the encrypt function. So uh, I'm going to make it fail. Let's see the failure reason. As expected, it got failed. You can see it uh, failed with the validation error. So the plain text failed to satisfy the constraint, which is length less than or equal to 4 KB. So it has failed because the length was more than 4 K. So let's um, comment this and run the other functions. Now it has run without any errors. You can see uh, the first JSON payload is around 3.4 KB and the second data is around 7 KB. And um, so this is the SDK byte version of the encoded content. This is decoded uh, plain text. So using the master key. And this this one uses the 7K payload and use the data key to encrypt and decrypt. So you can see the results here. So, and also I'll show you the files which we have generated out of this. So this is the encrypted data key. So this data key is an encrypted version and encoded content.json. This is the encoded content of the JSON payload which we have provided. So they are uh, stored in the class path and this is this will be used of uh, this data key will be used for further decryption so this data key stays in our application it will not be managed by aws console this is it for the kms operations so thanks for watching and you can uh, find the git repository link in the description you can provide your suggestions or if you have any queries on the implementation feel free to put comments i will respond to them Give it a thumbs up if you have liked this walkthrough. I would appreciate if you could subscribe as well. Thanks for watching.